What condition? What condition? All right, this is one of my original ammo cans that I decided I'd repurpose into something useful. I'm going to use this on the bench, and I can also wire it into my existing 12 volt micro solar generator system in the backyard. Did some slick modification. I used some blanks from Lowe's and painted them and mounted a 30 millimeter blower fan. That actually blows into the box. And here's another blank that I painted. This contains the SAE jack and an air outlet. It can also parallel the batteries with that. And that works in conjunction with my battery tender junior, which is blinking back there, which means the batteries are topped off. But that turned out really slick. And on the back side, I had a, another hole back there. I just created a blank air outlet there, too. There's plenty of airflow in there with that small fan. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty and I'll show you the good stuff. On the back there, I tell you, cutting metal and trying to get that to fit was a pain in the ass, but I got it going. It worked out pretty good. And that's my Interstate Batteries 35 amp hour sealed deep cycle AGM battery and a Blue C Systems six circuit fuse block with negative in cover. And while I was filming this, a freaking fly was buzzing in my eyes and ears, and that's why the light is a little shaky. Freaking flies. All right, around here to the front, instead of using 12 volt power sockets, I used dual 12 volt cigarette lighter outlets. And you can also use these as 12 volt power sockets, too but they're much heavier duty, and that's what I like about these. I'm not going to be using 12 volt power sockets anymore. I'm going to be using these, dual purpose. Now here's the really slick part. What I needed on the bench was a 12 volt power source, you know, just a piddle fart around on the bench instead of just connecting onto a battery. So I picked these up on Amazon, and the threads were jacked up, so I ended up using five sixteenths inch thread bolts that I had laying around and worked out really good with those knobs. This is a 30 amp service. It may power a troller motor, but I'd have to change the fuse out. The wiring's only, you know, it's 10 gauge. But all I'm doing here is plugging it into the Fluke multimeter, true RMS show you that it's got voltage on those standoffs. Alright, this one doesn't have an inverter or a solar charge controller, but that's not the idea behind this thing. Is just to have something portable, rugged, ready to go, charged up. You can charge it up with your car or truck too. So, alright, guys have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. Shadow.